the news headline if the cjn intends to swear in a man who is not elected as president there is problem says faro timi you're welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning into this channel please listen to the end the news details a member of the Obidati Campaign Council, Dele Farutimi, has argued that the president elected elect pardon is mandated to have twenty five percent in twenty four states, including the Federal Capital Territory (FCT). He stated categorically that if the chief justice of Nigeria intends to swear in a man who has not obtained this constitutional requirement, then there will be a constitutional crisis. He further stated that the provisions of the law are clear about the 25% in the FCT. He also clarified that the Labour Party are not pushing for an interim government but for the court to decide the court cases before the next administration comes to power. He said, we have courts for the purposes of resolution of disputes. There are clear disputes about this election and there are constitutional imperatives that have been overlooked as well. If the constitution is clear, we don't start all these confusing games. We have a situation where the drafter of the constitution and the people are miles apart. At the end of the day, it is not a reflection of our will if the CJN intends to swear in a man who is not elected then there is a problem because there's a provision for determining the elected president 24 states and 25 percent of FCT I did not write that. It is clear for her to see. Dele Farutimi, which is a member of the Obidati Campaign Council, has said that if Tinubu is being, is being um, announced as the winner of the election, there's going to be a problem. Because it will look like the constitution is tackling what is on ground. Because the constitution states that it clearly states that for you to be a winner for you to come a winner of an election you have to win 24 states and 25 percent of the federal capital territory that is the most important the 25 percent including the federal capital territory you have to win 25 percent and in this previous election tinubu did not win the federal capital territory it did not get 25 percent of the vote of the federal capital territory and that's why everybody is saying he is not the winner because it's a prerequisite for the president the the the, the winner of the election to win 25 percent in 24 states including the federal capital territory but tinubu did not so now the lefaro to me is saying that if the chief justice of Nigeria intends to swear in a man that has not obtained a constitutional requirements, that means there will be a constitutional crisis. So, are we saying that the constitution is no more is no more um, above anybody? Are we now saying that the constitution is just a mere book and we don't practice what is in it? Because now it is so evident that Tinubu did not win twenty five percent of the federal capital territory so if this chief justice of nigeria should swear in him there is going to be a problem 
And they also said that the Labour Party is not just pushing for, for an interim government, but they are pushing that the court should decide the case before the next administration comes to power. All the Labour Party is just saying that the court should look into the case and decide before the May 29th inauguration. They are not just pushing for an interim government. And so why do we have courts? Because of this, because because of the purposes to 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 solve resolutions of disputes, to resolve disputes and to clear disputes about anything that is going on. That's why we have courts. And about this election, the court is there for the purpose to solve the dispute about the election and there are constitutional imperatives that are being overlooked as well. The constitution is so clear, so we don't even have to start confusing ourselves by all these um, games um, going to court and trying to confuse the masses, trying to confuse the people, since it is clearly written in the constitution. What's your view about this news? Please share your view in the comment section. And don't forget to always click on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Thank you.